sin, he will perform, and he says he will take all your sins away. I said he will take all your sins away. But he said you must come because if you turn your back to God, if you retreat and you draw back, if you don't come when the chance is there to come, when he wants to put all your sins, all your transgressions, as far as the east is from the west, if you don't come, how will it happen? Thank God you are coming. Say, I am coming. Say, I am coming. With all my heart, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with the total personality that I control, I am coming to Christ tonight. Where are you? Where are you? Whosoever comes to him, he will in no wise reject. He will receive you tonight in Jesus' name. Look at verse 19. It says, If ye be willing and obedient, if you be willing to come, obedient to come, and then you brush aside all those dirty things of the past, and you say, Today will be the day of a new birth in my life. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. He shall eat the good of the land. Every good thing you desire, from healing to deliverance to provision to a good life, to a prosperous life, he shall eat the good of the land in Jesus' name. Look at verse 26. In verse 26, it tells us here, it said, And I will restore thy judges as at the first, and thy counselors as at at the beginning is saying as he had done in the past at the beginning he will restore us at the beginning and afterward thou shalt be called the city of righteousness and the faithful city this is the day of fulfillment the day of blessing and yours will be the blessing tonight in jesus name Look at Matthew chapter 8, and I'm reading from verse 7. Matthew chapter 8, verse 7. Jesus says unto him, I will come and heal him. Remember, it's not a man that is your lie. He has said, I will come and heal you. I will come and deliver you. I'll come and set you free. I'll come and break your yoke. I'll come and totally bring you out of every form of captivity tonight in Jesus name he cannot lie he will not lie he said he will and he has the power to do it he'll do it in your life tonight I will come and heal him look at verse 8 verse 8 says and the centurion answered and said Lord I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof but speak the word only speak the word only speak the word only and what will happen my servant shall be healed speak the word only and my and my servant shall be healed what a wonderful thing tonight as the Lord is going to speak the word right to you there the word of healing and your servant shall be healed. Say good amen. amen. Or you'll say, Preacher, I don't have a servant. Yes, you do. Your hand is your servant serving you. But that hand is withered. That hand is weak. That hand, your servant, will be healed tonight. I don't have a servant. Yes, you do. Your legs, your feet, they are your servants. They carry you everywhere. You can't go anywhere without telling those servants your feet, move there, move there. But those feet, those feet, the legs are so weak and they are paralyzed and they are lame. And one leg is shorter than the other. And you say, my servants are not doing well. Your servants, your legs are going to be healed tonight in Jesus' name. 
or you say, do I have servants? Your ears are, are your servants. They're serving you. If you're traveling here, traveling here, you need to hear the sound of what is happening at the back so that your ears will tell you, get out of the way so you'll not be overrun by a vehicle. That's your servant. Your ears, if they have any problem tonight, speak the watch only and my servant, my ears will be healed in Jesus' name. Your lungs are your servant because without they functioning and bringing in the air in and out, in and out, you'll not remain alive. And those lungs, there's something wrong with your servants, your respiratory system. And you're saying, speak the word only, and my servant, my lungs are going to be healed tonight in Jesus' name. It's the backbone that is your servant that is not able to bend, is not able to rise, and you're not able to move here and there. And if that servant is not functioning well, you're not going to stand straight, you're not going to walk well, but that backbone, your servant, is going to become straight today. All the pain is going to be removed. And then your brain what can you do without your brain to remember this and then to recall that and to write all that down? Your brain is your servant. And if that brain is not working well tonight, praise the Lord, that servant, your brain will come alive. Everything will be all right. Speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Look at verse 13. In verse 13, it says, And Jesus said unto the centurion, The centurion is gone long ago. Now it is you. I said, Now it is you. And the Lord is saying to you, Go thy way as thou hast believed. Do you believe tonight? As thou hast believed. I said, Do you believe tonight? You believe in your heart, you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Is the Lord of your soul, the Lord of your heart, and is the Lord of your body. And as you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth, salvation will be yours. Healing will be yours. Deliverance will be yours. As thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. Look at that. What I believe. Is what I confess, what I confess, is what I possess, what I believe, is what I will perform. And tonight, performance in your life. And his servant was healed in a self same hour. His servant, your servant, your hand, your servant, your feet, your servant, your ears, your servant, your eyes. Your servant, your lungs, your servant, your backbone, your servant, every part of your body serving you tonight, your servant will be healed in this self same hour. This self same hour. This is the hour of your salvation. This is the hour of your healing. And this is the hour of your deliverance. This self same hour. When are you getting your miracle? When are you getting your deliverance? Look at Matthew chapter 8, verse 16. And it says in verse 16, when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word. Any evil spirit tormenting your life, this self same hour, they are cast out and you are delivered in Jesus' name. And he healed all. And he healed all. And he healed how many? Am I included? Are you included? Where are you? He healed all. It has come. He healed all that were sick. Why? Look at verse 17. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying himself, that's the Lord, himself, that's Christ, himself, that's a healer, himself, 
that's a deliverer himself took our infirmities and bear our sicknesses tonight is your night salvation is for you forgiveness is for you freedom is for you healing is for you deliverance is for you when i said when now it will happen we we'll come to point number three now number three present spiritual heritage and miracles beyond the beginning we'll see what he has done at the beginning we'll see what he has done as at the beginning not beyond the beginning those of us who are living today here at the crusade field here in this alpha location of the crusade and in all the places where we're gathered and we're connected online we're now the people beyond the beginning watch the god we're going to get the same salvation we're going to get the same healing we're going to receive in isaiah chapter 53 verse 1 was believed a report and to whom is the arm of the lord revealed and then he says in verse 4 these are the people now that are going to have the manifestation the performance of that salvation of that healing of that deliverance look at verse 4 surely somebody shall surely that means beyond any shadow of doubt there's no doubt for your salvation tonight there's no doubt for your forgiveness tonight in fact heaven is ready right now surely he has borne our griefs he has borne our griefs he has carried our sorrows yet we did esteem him stricken smitten of god uh, stricken smitten of god and afflicted look at verse 5 it says but he was wounded for our transgression he was bruised for iniquities that is he has taken our place all the iniquities all the transgression he been wounded because of that he has borne our punishment now you cannot punish the same offense two times all our punishment have been borne by christ so we cannot bear them again all our pains have been taken away by christ we should not be bearing them again all our sicknesses are taken away by christ we should not be bearing them anymore he was wounded for our transgressions it was bruised for iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him you have peace today peace in your heart peace in your soul peace in your mind my brother my sister there's going to be peace in your family and then it says with the stripes we are healed with the stripes we are healed if we are healed then I am healed I am healed I am healed. He is not a man that he should lie, not that the son of man that, that he should repent. As he said, I shall he not do it. And as he spoke in, shall he not bring it to pass? By his stripes you are healed. It will happen. Look at verse 6. In verse 6, it says, All we like sheep have gone astray. You are not better than the other person. The other person is not better than you are. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. There is no one that comes and he says, So, Lord, give me the salvation because I'm better than other people. He answers the prayer of the worst of sinners. Whatever you have done, wherever you have been, wherever you have gone, here today is salvation and forgiveness redemption available for you all we like sheep have gone astray we have turned everyone no exception salvation is for you forgiveness is for you we have turned everyone to his own way 
and the Lord looked at that. It's not the preacher, the Lord is not an angel, the Lord is not a religious man, the Lord himself has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Tonight is going to take that iniquity off from your heart, off from your soul. And is laying it already on the Lord Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Your guilt will go away. Condemnation will go away. The pressure and the pain of that sin will go away in Jesus' name. And the power of sin that binds, that holds down, that keeps down, that somebody is not able to do the right thing he ought to do. All that bondage of sin is broken tonight in Jesus' name. For the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 6. And we're looking at verse 2. 2 Corinthians chapter 6. We're reading from verse 2. Before I read that verse, when is your salvation? When is your miracle? When is the mercy, the favor of God upon your life? When is the joy of heaven and the joy of salvation coming unto you? That's the right answer. And as you follow through with that right answer, it will happen in your life. I said it will happen in your life. Look at exactly what it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. For he says, he has said, remember, it's not a man that he should lie. Not that the son of man that he should repent. As he said, and shall he not do it as he spoken? Shall he not bring it to pass? He will do it. For he said, I have heard thee. In a time accepted. And in the day of salvation, have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. I didn't hear your amen there. Behold, now is the day of your salvation. Now, 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 now. Shout it out now. Your salvation is now. Your forgiveness is now. Your freedom is now. Your victory is now in Jesus' name. Are your healing when? Your deliverance when? The breaking of every yoke when? The cancellation of every curse in your life when? Now, heads bowed and eyes closed. The Lord wants to do that good thing in your life right now. He wants your cooperation. He has said, come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. If those sins be as red as crimson, he will wash you whiter than snow. He will take your guilt away. He'll take your condemnation away. He'll take the judgment that was hanging on your head. He'll take that away. And today, there will be the reality of salvation. There will be the joy of salvation. There will be the experience of total freedom from transgression, from iniquity, and from all your sins, even tonight in Jesus' name. I said, about and eyes are closed, and you come into one and one relationship and discussion and surrender unto God. It's looking for you now that the salvation will be yours tonight. It's looking for you now that the um, that the forgiveness will be yours and the freedom will be yours. As it's about and eyes are closed, where are you now? Raise up that hand and say, Lord, I am here. 
Lord, I am here. Where are you? He's looking for you. He's looking for you. You know that now is the, is the day of your salvation. You know that now is that moment of forgiveness. And you know that now is that moment of total freedom. And the God of heaven will take all the guilt, all the condemnation, and all the pollution, the presence of sin away from your life. What? Raise up your hand where you are. Thank you very much, dear. Thank you very much, dear. Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand. Don't let this moment, this time, pass you by. Say, Lord, I am here. If you are raising up your hand anywhere and online, you are indicating God can see you there online. Anywhere you are, you are telling the Lord, oh, Lord, I am here now. Raise up that hand. As those who are here, you are raising up your hand, you can stand up. You can stand up. You're standing up for that forgiveness. They said, come now. You must indicate, Lord, I come. Where are you? Where are you? You raise up your hand, and you know that this is the moment of that forgiveness. Stand up wherever you are. This is the moment of that freedom from sin. Stand up wherever you are. This is the moment, the very day of your salvation. is the accepted time. Raise up your hand and stand up. As you stand up, he says, come and let us really sing together. Say, Lord, I'm sorry for my sin. I'm sorry for my evil. I turn away. I repent. I will not continue in them as you help me. I know you are going to help me as you help me. I know your grace is going to come into my life as you bring your grace into my life. Lord, I turn away from them and I come unto you. Tell the Lord, I want you to do, Lord, what you have promised me you will do. And you are not a man that will lie. You are not a son of man that will change your mind or repent. You have said it, you will do it. You have spoken, you will bring it to pass. And take my sins away from me. Away from my heart. Away from my mind. Away from my habit. Take it away from me as far as the east is from the west. Tell him, and he'll do it now. Lord, save me, and I shall be saved. Save me, Lord, and I shall be saved. Save me, Lord, and I shall be saved. That salvation comes to you right now. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Have you told the Lord? I said, have you told the Lord? He has answered. I said, he has answered. Let's pray together. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you because you are a great God. You are a mighty God. You are a loving God. You are a merciful God. And you are a saving God. You are the God that so loved us and sent your only begotten Son to die for us on the cross of Calvary. And you, the Almighty God, in your love, in your mercy, in your grace, you have laid the iniquity of us all right on the Lord, on Christ. And we accept that salvation. I pray that you fulfill it in every life now, in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, that the joy of salvation the joy of forgiveness and the joy of freedom will come to every repentant heart right now in Jesus' name. We know there's no delay. This is the accepted time. And this is the day of our salvation. I pray that everyone that have intelligently received what you have told us tonight, and they have indicated themselves as candidates of salvation, perform it in every life. Turn every life around. Change every life. Let that new life come to everyone right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I know it is done. In Jesus' name, we pray. And the people of God said, and everyone everywhere said amen. amen god bless you keep on standing our counselors are there and uh, they will uh, you know give you slips to feel is to rejoice with you identify with you that you have given your life to the lord and that your sins are taken away that
everything that is required from there. And the 091 your own. Please uh, just put up your hands wherever you are, and the counselors will support you. So after the prayers, please, are we through? Praise the Lord. Your explosion is coming. I will receive. Remember that centurion said, Speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. The Lord is healing you tonight. That brain problem, the Lord is taking it away. Those dim eyes, blind eyes, they will open. You'll see clearly in Jesus' name. You brought anyone deaf and dumb, a child, a mother, a father, anyone. Just stay near, lay your hands gently on them, and as we pray, that explosion will happen. Any challenge, any sickness, any infirmity, any oppression, any affliction, this is the moment of your miracle. Lay one hand where you have the challenge and raise up the other hand. And when you hear the final amen, you check up on yourself, it would have happened. When you open your eyes, you open your eyes into miracle explosion. Tonight, not one, not two, not few, explosion. Explosion. Yes, of that hand is coming your way. Online, anywhere you are, a congregation, outside, gathering, by yourself, anywhere, miracle power is going to come upon you now. Father, we well, thank you. We have the assurance in our heart. You are not a man that you are alive. Now that the Son of Man to repent or to change, you have spoken, it will be done. You have said it, it will be performed. I come on behalf of everyone here, everyone online, everyone over the radio, over television, everywhere, and I pray in your love, in your faithfulness, touch everyone in Jesus' name. Lord, your power is still as fresh as it was in the days of old. Therefore, Lord, I pray you heal everyone now in Jesus' name. Take the body away. Take the problem away. Take the sickness away. Take the infirmities away. Heal all diseases right now in Jesus name any part of their body from the top of their to the tip of their toe in the bloodstream blood system in their lungs in their kidneys internally externally touch them and heal them miraculously now in Jesus name Performance everywhere. Demonstration everywhere. Healing everywhere. Deliverance everywhere. Break every yoke. Destroy the works of the devil. And Lord, as we open our eyes now, after the final amen, we open our eyes to healing. We open our eyes to deliverance. We open our eyes to the explosion of miracles everywhere in Jesus' name. On my left, it's done. On my right, it's done. In front, it is done. Far at the back, it is done. Everywhere, those who are connected, everywhere now, it is done. Miracle, healing, deliverance, confirm it everywhere, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.
shake up, your miracle is there. You cannot go back without your miracle. Don't go. Stay there. Check up, check up, check up. It is done. You come with your testimony. Praise the Lord. Offering time. Uh, let us read from Leviticus chapter 6, verse 12. Leviticus chapter 6, verse 12. And the fire upon the altar shall be burning in it. It shall not be put out. And the priest shall burn wood on it every morning and lay the burnt offering in order upon it. And he shall burn thereon the fat of the peace offerings. Let us raise our offering. Thank you, Lord, for what you have given to us. And please accept this small token that we give unto you. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Let us share the Let us be seated. I want to welcome every one of us to Deeper Life Bible Church of Charlotte. You have seen. You must have been hearing about Deeper Life Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. You have come. You have seen. Uh, you have seen the challenges. I know you will be surprised. So, this is the church I've been hearing about. That's the work of the Lord. That's what God is doing. And then it's a challenge to you that anywhere you are, there's no obstacle for you from preaching the gospel. Before you come, it has been a long time we did decide the scripture. So I tried to explain to them some of the reasons. Because of the COVID, our rule told us that we should limit the hour to one hour church so then we limit to uh, one hour then the second challenge i have is my accent you see them uh, the uh, zabi is from afghanistan the uh, is from united states and then lisa is from united states then other people all of them they are from United States. They are not here, yeah, about two or three. Now, your humble servants speak like Ogumo Shoma. <laughs> Pure, no diluted. <laughs> Ogumo Shoma. So, when I observe it, the Bible let me know you better speak five words that people understand. That speaking in tongues or in language that they do not understand at all. So I just have to ask myself, there's nothing I want to gain in preaching. So I decided within myself that I will be using GS message. GS app uh, is an international preacher. The anointing is a million food than me. So I step aside. Um, the same thing with the sad scripture. We are challenges. I'm telling you because God, I know God has a purpose for bringing you. We have challenges. That's divorce. And then by the time you stay with only 10 people here, 
75 percent they are divorcee so you are thinking i see 10 people 75 percent 70 already already divorced the remaining three maybe two are very strong in their marriage the one they are struggling between the marriage so that's caused a lot of challenges for us because most of the people they are not african and then american and then divorce but the time you know deeper life by the time you come second to so that's one of the other challenges but i just decided that god you have sent me on errand no matter what the case may be i'm moving on and then i have a covenant i i always be afraid of saying i have something with god i only want to say he has something with me i want to say all these things so that you can able to be strong fairly well i i think we're very poor brand polygamous poverty talk of anything but god just decided that okay you are my faithful and i will pick you out and then my guardian they are very nice to me and then i maybe they are watching us who knows but they are selling uh, cigarettes and then they go to another church and then uh we are going to go great so everybody no fear of what they are, they are going to go great after this i thought it's like uh how am i going to cope with this situation going to another church i was brought up my background as a christian I was very active in Baptist church, but the Reverend converted me, Reverend of the church. <laughs> so, I mean, converted me. And then one night I just woke up, midnight, I woke up and I told God, you know, I want to, I want to serve you. And this is my situation. I can't speak English. I cannot, uh, you see my guardian's situation, and then I want to serve you. So I want to lie down. I think that was my third encounter with God. And I see all what you see today. Within, I can bring the file for you where I wrote it. Within 30 seconds, he showed me. So I started using my money. I will buy cassettes. Then, immediately, my, because my guardian has money. Then they give us money for food. I will use that money to go and buy cassettes at Bauchi. Then, and just I buy cassettes. So I started recording them. A lot of long story there. They along the line, everything burned. So I started again. I started again until God opened way for United States. Then I did not know that all what was happening, it was preparing me. That where you are going, there will be nobody. There will be no choir. There will be no usher. There will not be anything I didn't know. That it was preparing me. So by the time we got to this place, it was very, it already the vision is there. Everything is there. It already been, the, it's all, it was in my brain. So by the grace of the Lord, as you are looking at us now, uh, we are showing ourselves in Facebook now, in YouTube, and then some people they join us through phone sometimes, just to, and then we have fifteen thousand subscribers on the YouTube. We have more than ten thousand on the on the Facebook. So what we lack physically in the as a personnel, God gave it to us online. And then we can see I doubt it if you look for any messages that will be very hard that we will not find on our YouTube our YouTube. We have more than six thousand messages there. We still
processing a lot of things. As I told my brother, we did it to the extent that there nobody can go anywhere that want to start a church, and then we approach our YouTube that we not see something to start a church. There's no way, because all the songs, hymns are there. We are the pro we are in processing of getting all the Bible. Already we have, like you say, we have all the Bible written there. Not all of them. We are in processing of getting them. We have choir songs. We just you don't know because of the now that uh, because of the our population Americans. We have about I saw it yesterday about 130 choir songs. So by the time you are, you say you want to have a Bible study, you take a hymn, you take Bible reading is there. You take choir, is there. Then you take GS. We have more than 6,000 messages. They are there. Uh, we are still in the process of getting uh, from, they just send that one to us from the headquarter. From getting it from Genesis to the Revelation. All the leadership messages, they are there. Uh, Mighty, Weapon, they, all of them are there. The unchanging God, unchanging world. Talk of any one of them they are there so uh when you see all these things you need to be appreciating god for what god is doing through your humble family and i pray by the power and the blood of jesus that you keep praying for us in jesus name i will not it's my wish that maybe every month <laughs> or every two months you come and check us like this and then god will help me in jesus name by the grace of the lord within now um february uh, we get there that's a promise. Uh, we come and visit you by the grace of the Lord. And I promise you, it's just a matter of time. You called me yesterday twice. I was sleeping, Pastor Dada. So uh, we tell him the heavenly blessing you send on to us today. I pray that the grace of the Lord will be with you and the Almighty God will continue to. Anytime I remember him, I want to cry. You say, Father. You say, Father. And then. I pray that Almighty God will continue to be with him in Jesus' name. Just last week he said, how long have you gone to Nigeria? I said, no, I have not gone. He said, when you are ready, I will pay your return ticket to Nigeria. So that's how it is. That's how it is. So I pray that God will continue to be with him. And the grace of the Lord will continue to be with him in Jesus' name. Uh, I will not conclude without introducing my wife and as uh, you see you just turn you <laughs> yeah <laughs> the grace of the Lord will continue to be with her the almighty God will continue to be with her I will not conclude without introduce my son <laughs> three o'clock he's still working on this thing yes yesterday <laughs> um just believe that God will continue to be and then my daughter you see all the bathroom everything she's the one that will clean it I, anytime many people ask me about them I tell God call on Jacob that's what I the YouTube my child develop it I really appreciate him I pray the Almighty God will continue to help in Jesus' name. Uh, you see him, I cannot but appreciate him. When everybody left, everybody left, he was the only one that stayed with us. So, you know, God has a way of working. And you will understand what I'm saying. When everybody left, he was the only one. I see it was so his presence he started building the church again. Then uh, service for uh, Afghanistan becomes uh, it was won by my wife to the Lord. Then he has been so constant. Been so constant. Uh, Lisa is a pure American. <laughs> <laughs> Then uh, he, she did something that encouraged me one day. We have to have the workers meeting, and then we have to join them in DC. And then 
it's like uh, just like today because of our service has been because of your presence so let us conclude she said we should continue i was so surprised because it was a workers meeting the message was thick but the pastor that i just believed that everybody should be in the church and it was two days let us i was feeling for them that oh let us go on there she said no let us continue so anytime i see i remember that i will really appreciate the uh the their dedication to god and then through them we are many people are being in the church about two or three they are not here today so that's the challenge yes that's it. i don't know i might have spoken to one of you on the line i'm telling you come to macedonia come on apples come to my, many people doesn't understand the challenges we have been facing but i don't i'm looking for somebody that have another 100 people <laughs> that will come and help me so that the church can grow but i believe that god that established us will not leave us alone in jesus name and then sitting there is my mother-in-law i pray that God will longer alive in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty thing, she will continue to see in the name of Jesus Christ. Once again, I welcome you and I will start with the said lady first. Then when the said lady first, two ladies. So I will start from mommy. You will introduce yourself, you told you to introduce my daughter. <laughs> I welcome her. Yeah. Okay. God bless you, sir. Amanda. Oh, Amanda is not here today. We have one sister. <laughs> she will be happy to see her name. She. God bless you, ma. So my sister. <laughs> Good afternoon. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can see what you are. The reason why you are smiling. <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> Are you the age? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, partially. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Something. Oh, God bless you, ma'am. God bless you. My dear brother. <laughs> Oh, it's very good. Okay. God bless you. <laughs> you don't need to tell me again. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. I'm very happy to meet you, sir. Thank you. My dear brother, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh. Thank you. Oh, thank you. God bless you. Thank you, God. I think I am able to speak to Bra Larry. And uh, that Bra Larry is just like I think I was the person that went to take I mean to take him in Richmond when he came. And uh, but he did one or not for me that I will never, never forget in my life. You know that brother I've never seen a PED certificate in now. He just sent the school, send it to Pastor Matthew. Till now, since he finished the PED, he has never seen the certificate. You know, I don't know, maybe because you are doing it, you don't know the value of it. I so follow it. That how can somebody did PED and he finished the PED and he has never seen the certificate? And he said, just send it to Pastor Matthew. The, the certificate is my drawer now. I so I, it to me is a big honor on me, and I pray that God will continue to be with him in Jesus' name, in the grace of the Lord. So he able to speak with him yesterday, and then uh, I think he will introduce a very nice man. <laughs> he doesn't take nothing from me. <laughs> he doesn't take nothing. He's a very nice man. God will continue to be with you in Jesus' name. So as we are meeting, if you like picture, my daughter is here. If you take. 
<laughs> Some of my people, they, they, we have taken their picture, they are so tired. But, so, but we can take it outside, we can. But we, we, you will not go without. Uh, there's no way you go to pass that you don't eat. <laughs> So you will not go without you will not go without it. Eh? So by the grace of the last, we are living here. There's a place we call the wood grain. And I we advise everyone of us. I hope I'm not on the line. Uh, bring my ring. So we go to we go to bathroom very well. There you eat. <laughs> so God will help us in Jesus. And once again, I appreciate you. The joy of the Lord will continue to be your strength. Almighty God will elevate you in the name of Jesus Christ. You have started well. You will end well in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not miss me. I will not miss you in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. We have our Sunday service like this. Every Monday, we have our Bible study. We have four online program, which God is using really to bless us. On Saturday, you can be joining us on Saturday morning between 8 and 9. We have our free trip. Then you see some of the pastors, they know me online, and they, as a result of that, they try they run to be helping me. Yeah, if you go to Matthew Kamu 2, we see all those prayers there. Then we have, uh, on Thursday, we have Charlotte, Charlotte Free Prayers. Pray. And then you will see them on Sunday, we are gathering of the ego. Maybe I just need to test them that today. They should continue. Then uh, on uh, night, between 2 and 3 year, midnight, we have a uh, divine intervention stroke. It's called the Yoruba name of it, Asirinla. So, God will bless us and the grace of the Lord will be upon us in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace together. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, mighty Father, we glorify you. We thank you, Lord. We have nothing to say than the song, the arrows sang yesterday. What can I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, God. What can I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. You can take the picture. Uh, you can take, take, take any way you want them. Go and take the other one. You can place the... You can place the... You can put it to any song. Fire, fire, fire.
to me. So I'm asking you to help with me in In Nordic culture, we often take things further. There's skiing, then there's ultimate skiing. There's a sweater, then there's the ultimate <laughs> sweater. There's a light show, then there's the ultimate light show. There's fish oil, then there's ultimate omega-3 fish oil from Nordic Naturals. Nordic Naturals, for the ultimate in health. From the beginning, the Notion doc looks publishable. We actually use Notion to publish public content. We've been doing this since the beginning. Things like blog posts, public facing pages like our terms of service on Notion. We actually never had a fundraising deck. We would just send a Notion link. As the company got bigger, we needed a big area where we could keep everything from important information like our logins to standard answers to questions. There is a single source of truth. It just feels so natural that I don't even really think about it too much, and I think that's a sign of a really effective tool. 